barbecued, grilled, yum. <laughs> Whatever came to your head. <laughs> hey guys, Jeremy here from School of Walk. Welcome to my home. Just in time for the British summer, this series is all about barbecuing and cooking on fire. A lot of you probably didn't know that I love to cook on coal. We're back on the barbecue this week's Saturday special with garlic and chilli prawns. Barbecued garlic and chilli prawns, Chinese style. So, my tiger prawns here, I've just sort of cut into them already with a, a small pair of scissors. But if you then sort of butterfly them out, crisscross, sort of score, then they stay nice and open when you barbecue. Now, I'm going to use my leftover barbecue marinade my ultimate barbecue marinade I've been using for grilled veg. So you could use this for one big barbecue or if you wanted to barbecue every day or twice or three times a week like I do over the summer, uh, then it's always nice to use those leftovers, almost batch prep everything. So my prawns, just opening them up. So you can see my prawns now are nicely butterflied. Give them a wash out if you can. And then we've got my leftover ultimate barbecue marinade, which I'm just going to sort of dress the prawns with. But I don't want it to be overpowering. Just, I mean, it's just enough there because I'm going to put more garlic, more chilli and a shed load of butter on top. Garlic. Chili and this butter that I usually melt on the barbecue, but it's so hot today, as it always is in England, all over the top. Whoa. If this is not making your mouth water, I don't know what is. Stop watching. Like always, you don't want to waste any of that sauce or that flavour. So what we're going to do is we're going to start to just cook those directly on the coal and then we'll baste the prawns with that buttery ultimate barbecue chili garlic marinade. Okay, so meat side down so they butterfly up nicely. You can see them opening up. And the temperature's at really good heat right now because it will cook them through very quickly, but it won't burn. But if you want to sort of get a little bit of flame to sort of char them a little more and get that smokiness off the barbecue, you can just pour a little bit of the sauce over the coal. So I've got a new knob of butter here, getting ready to sort of pour over the prawns a little bit. What will happen is when the butter drips over the coal, we get a nice sort of flame grill finish. Yeah, look at that. And that is the fun of cooking outside. Nice char on those prawns. But again, controlled enough not to burn them. Because no one likes burnt food. You want that perfect caramelisation. Now we're smoking. So... You never want to overcook your prawns. Literally like three to five minutes is all it takes. No garnish necessary. They speak for themselves.
Chris has taken all his time to take a photo of these, so I'm going to take as much time as I can to tuck into them, just so that Lee has to wait a little bit longer. Mm. The butter just does the job. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything, I'm just going to eat. Delicious. Mm. Oh. Um, the epitome of savoury flavour. I've still got prawn in my teeth. So delicious. Quick cooking. You don't want to overcook your prawns, but that butter, just to give it that char. If you like this recipe and you want to learn more, don't forget to follow our Saturday specials and subscribe to our channel.